Mimo had one of the biggest smiles for miles and miles, made the best pizza with his own cheese, and would always give you a free slice if you said please. Every day, clever Mimo used to say, A greater milk makes a greater cheese. That's why I've got two a dairy cows, Mildred and Louise. The dairy cows were very sweet and lived happily in Mimo's garden where there was lots of juicy grass to eat. One starry, starry night when the full moon was shining bright, a loud moo moo sound was heard far away by Mr. Slim Blight. Something wasn't right and when Mimo went to milk the dairy cows, they were nowhere in sight. Oh dear, Mimo mumbled to himself. What can I do, what can I do? When a little elf tapped him on the shoulder and said, The Scooter Bive will help you. Before you could say Dithering Dozy Dormouse, Scooter 5 arrived at Mimo's house. They reassured Mimo. We'll find the dairy cows before the next full moon, which is coming very soon. That's right, Mort quipped. It's tonight. The Scooter 5 all agreed. They had to work at great speed. But where could the cows be? To the meadow, follow me, Benny bellowed. To the pond, let's go and see, Mort thought. To the park, let's set them free, Nicky and Ricky insisted. Calmly, Penny spoke. No, let's begin by going to see Slim. Within two twists of a cat's whisker, they arrived at Slim's, where he lived with his sister. Slim told how the moo moo sound had come from the strange and scary train ground. We are the train rings. Hello. 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 No, no, not the nasty trings with their terrible stings, Benny sings. Yes, the trings were terrible, scary things that looked like trees and loved cheese. Had they stolen Mildred and Louise? Benny led the way, wearing her new Mohican safety hat, commanding. Let's go! There's no time to chat. <laughs> 